Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Tales from the Borderlands. When we left off last time, we met our player character, Reese, and his two buddies, Vaughn and um, Yvette. Now, Yvette, these are our Hyperion people, workers. We were supposed to get a big promotion. We worked as a team. Uh, the goal was to promote Reese, but it was going to benefit everybody. And instead, our nemesis, Vasquez, got the promotion and demoted us to janitor. So we're going to steal his deal. We're going to find a vault key. We had to fight a slew of bandits. It's me and Vaughn right now. Yvette stayed back on the Hyperion... I guess that's a ship orbiting out there? Something like that? So, me and Vaughn made it to... I will name my firstborn <laughs> Loderbot. We made it to the shop, but we had a lot of help from our Loderbot, who was pretty awesome and oh, got you know, kind of destroyed us. Probably so. not. But... <laughs> I... I can't believe we're alive. Nice collection of skulls. I mean, I... I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. Well, that, sorry to say, Vaughn, it probably will happen again. That was a single scariest Pandora. experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. It was for some kind reason. of fun. It was pretty awesome. But for those but... guys... Yeah, they were bandits. A lot of those guys... Look, they got what they deserved. They attacked us. They did. Maybe next time they'll think twice before... They're not thinking anything. I told you, I saw their brains. Yeah, I heard you. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. Huh. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, this is a curious place indeed, huh? All right. We got there. Well, hang on. Don't go right up there yet. Do the magic eye thing. What else we got to look? Oh, that's it, eh? Holy mong. Killed in frozen waste. Low intelligence. Speed fast enough. This thing is really strong. Twice the arms for twice the fun. They're the pet for everyone. <laughs> the holy mong shingle. <laughs> it's an exotic pet, huh? Well. Ugh, does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? Pretty much. Alright. Anything over here that I could look at? I'm guessing not, since the scan didn't pick it up, but... Let's just be sure. Alright. And I think that's our guy back here in this chair. I'm guessing. Oh, unless it's like a mannequin. Alright, you know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come right. face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Sounds fun. Please watch your step. And marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh... Hmm. It does just now occur to me that it's possible we we ran right down here to steal Vasquez's deal, but maybe it wasn't a good deal for him in the first place. Maybe they were planning to backstab him all along, whoever he's made this deal with. This might not work out well for us. All right, Scorgold, the Flesh Slayer, 15 meters long, 4 meters wide, awful breath. It is said that certain rituals involving colored barrels can raise Scorgold from its aquatic slumber to perform elaborate dance routines. All right. What about this one? Giant bug head. <laughs> A badass Gorok. Weak point is its throat. It is bloodthirsty. It's vicious and a uh, positive attitude. Hunting Borax is best avoided by small children, the elderly, and anyone with a heart beast. Seriously, just run. They are not even tasty. So there's no reason to fight them, it's saying. Okay, and then... Seated Man. What do we got here? Professor Penumbra from Oasis. 5'10", 143 pounds. Stuffed and mounted. Cause of death, stabbing. Last words, what are you going to do? Stab me? Well, indeed. Oh, 
not to be confused with his brother Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? Hmm. Sundary grenade deactivated. resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane, he will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Oh, Vaughn, have some fun. Anything to scan on this guy? Yeah, what we got here? Firecracker. Do it yourself, fancy accessory. Owned and manufactured by Shade. For the man who wants to feel fancy without sacrificing that certain je ne spirit quality. I don't know how to say that. Alright. Okay, oh, yeah. I remember this guy. He was an asshole. <laughs> Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! No witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Ooh. Really? Keep it. Yeah. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. Alright, neuron linked cannon. Swag type weapon. Self-inflicted modifications. Oh yeah? Well, would a crazy person attach a robot gun arm to their spine? <laughs> Indeed, they would. And, uh, what's this here? Dead guy's arm. Rotting arm. Point contaminant detected. Iridium. Alien mineral used frequently in weapons processing, despite best attempts, does not work as male enhancement. <laughs> The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. Ah. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. <laughs> Can we just get on with this? No, we gotta look at them all. Steel's brain tube. Oh, what's going on here? The brain of Commandant Steel. Military grade carbon nanotube polymer. Contents a brain. It still includes augmentation by hmm. Anything else with you, Steel? No. Nope. Ah, oh, here you go, Vaughn. That's the end of it. Yeah, I guess we'll knock. Well, here we go. Oh. Or not. It's locked. Oh come on, are you serious? This feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Wow, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. Okay, what about that little chip that we got? Now, look for a key, they say. Okay. Anything here? This gentleman. Nothing in his pockets. Okay, I don't think I want to rescan everything I already scanned. Not in the least bit insane. It's gonna say, wait, there was someone there, How wasn't are there? You? Not great. Are you two not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages? <laughs> Why are you pretending to be dead? What? <laughs> dead? No, 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 no. Asleep, maybe. Dead. That's your. You're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> what? 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 What is this? Is this part of the like some kind of ride or something? 
since the moment we walked in. It's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! <laughs> I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosity. Oh, so are you the fella to talk to? Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but, unfortunately, wow. we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. <laughs> I mean, we can do other things. Um, shame. You're already here. <laughs> we, we can just hang out. We're looking for a man in August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure. Sure. Why didn't you say so? Huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Well, yeah, there is big to do outside. Yeah, if you want to buy something strange and illegal, this is certainly the place to do it. All right. Oh, follow the crazy man. I don't know, Vaughn's creeped Daddy. out, but personally I quite like his place. house of curiosities. He's a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself. What happened? Get stuck in traffic? Oh, is this our man? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> well, sorry we're late. Getting here was a little more complicated than we thought it'd be. Yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk off is using you for rocket practice. Yep. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. Thanks, Shane. I'm August. But I figure you know that already. Mm hmm. The guy with the key. So, August. Assuming this is the real deal. What? Why are we suspicious he's, about his uh, lady friend? Is Vasquez coming? Uh, we're coming for him. Uh, Hugo couldn't make it. He's sick. Yeah, he ate some bad stuff or something. I don't know. <laughs> he's been camped out in the executive washroom since lunchtime. He's got trains leaving both ends of the station, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Ugh, okay, I got the picture. Well done. So, what's your name? Just so we're on uh, equal footing. Eh, yeah, Reese. we want this to get back to Vasquez so he knows who's Reese? screwing over. Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. All right. I'll just stand, Bon. It'll be fine. Okay, so let's see the money. Let's Cash see the only key. for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. Mm. The kind that are hard to break. Uh uh, no. I know how this works. We see the merchandise first, then you see the money. Yeah. <sighs> all right, all right. The baby wants its bottle. Fine. Is this a legit thing? You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. All right. I'd use it myself, but, you know, the monsters and all. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so, the way I uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I gotta... I gotta feel Why you gotta mess what? this up? Feeling. Look! You said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away. Oh, right? come on. What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done. Is she okay? Yeah, yeah, she's just freaking out. She does that sometimes. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their... Dumb faces since Sasha? the moment they walked in. We got your money. What are you talking about? And why, why wouldn't they show you the money, huh? What's up with that? I, I'll show you right Sasha? now. Sasha, they've been all, oh yes, sir, and oh no, sir, and oh I have the money we agreed upon right here. I do. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that, and especially Hyperion ore monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. Hmm. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? Um, you can't trust a face like that. Hey, Sasha. Sasha, listen to me. I... 
You're making a big mistake. This money we're offering is life changing, and it's right here. I know Show you the don't money, trust Brian. Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, we're not like those assholes. In, in fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. Please? So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? Yes, so give it That's to us. That's exactly what we're saying. I'm sold. All right. Whew. Awesome. Let's do this. Well, just wait. No, just no, wait. no. Uh, August, everything's fine now. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If you really think. No, no, it's fine. Okay. Show them the money. The It'll change their minds. Get rid of this uncertainty. The deal. I don't know. Oh Maybe my God, you guys. Right if, if if things are weird. Uh, the bad feeling is gone, August. She said so herself. We still got a deal here. There's no problem. Let's just No, I'm I'm sorry guys. I no, was, no, no. I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez and now this I just I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Take the Maybe money. Maybe another time, fellas. No. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really? Yes. No, I made up my mind. August, wait! Reese! Oh, this is your department. Do something. Okay, what are the choices? Don't let him walk away with that. Come on, man. I will give you the money. It's fine. Give me that key. Mm. Break his heart. No, we're gonna... August. Actually, that's okay. You don't know it yet. Know what? Uh, this... This is it. You can't see that one day, maybe 10 years from now, maybe 10 months, maybe tomorrow, you're gonna think back on right now and scream to the stars for mercy of death just so you'll not have to live in the wondering of what could have been. What if I had seized that chance by the throat? <laughs> what if I had beaten my fears, taken what was so rightfully mine? What if I had won? Seriously, Vaughn, open the case. This. Show him the money. I am a winner! <laughs> Alright, show this man his money. Okay, it's in our hands. Good, good. Give him the money, and let's just go before he can change. What Anyone else can change. Load of scag crap. Oh my god, what now? Oh. Well, well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! <laughs> oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! <laughs> it sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! Ah, oh, Fiona. Con artist. <laughs> no, all right, all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell your story. Tell me your side of the deal. You couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. Well... I guess I could've. <laughs> you guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive-bombing me for the last- Just tell your story. Oh, okay. I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. And what's Which that? Which is? Oh, this ought to be good. No, oh, go on. I can't wait. That psycho- Gang lord guy made his big stupid entrance. It's mine! Get it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? <laughs> oh, this is problematic. Wait, wait, wait. 
wait, 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 wait. How is that the most important thing? Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. All right. What you got for us, Fiona? I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. Felix raised you into a life of crime. What you making there, Felix? There. That looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some oh. Iberian stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Now, this is really something that we should have seen, because we're sitting there saying, Reese is all like, oh, this thing is worth a billion of dollars, billions of money, so much more, blah, 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 and the guy only wants 10 million for it. I mean, mm, it did seem a little suspect. Not too many people have seen a bald key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. Do you think this will work? If I didn't, we wouldn't be doing it. All right. Fair enough. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark. But you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. Well, I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Exactly. Showtime. Fiona. When she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. So you want me to shoot my way out? Might need a bigger gun. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. Mm. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. All right. No touch. So if we'd have just sat back and let Vasquez make this deal, he'd have got screwed over Emergency by these guys. Only. And we wouldn't have had to get in the mix of it. Oh, well. Sorry, Reese. Bad luck. All right. This away. I should probably not talk to this guy at all, but I'm going to. Ooh. Yeah, go open that loot crate. <laughs> we'll go back to that guy. It's a terrible plan. He's probably going to rob me or something, but uh. What do we got in here? Oh. Figures. Nah. Alright. Oh, hey! Let's get rid of that. Now then. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, you get it all out. I guess. Uh, 
hollow point where art and culture flourish. All right. Oh, oh hey guys. How's it going? All right, all right, enough of this stabbing. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> all right. He's dying, so it's not like he's gonna use it for anything. Sorry, girls gotta eat. Unless he lives, in which case this decision could potentially. Oh, we got so much money there, though. Um, she's a con artist. She'd take the money. It's in character. Watch your step, Fiona. Ouch. Great. Felix didn't mention anything about a bouncer. Hmm. Well. Sorry. No one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIP's on. Tector hold on. Great at violence, bad at everything else. Private function. There's the well. Firestone Tavern down the road. If you really need a drink, they'll take care of you. Well, that's good, because I'm a VIP. What? Really? Yep. Yep. So if you could just get the door for uh, wait, me. Wait, one second. I don't know, miss. No offense, but you look pretty regular to me. VIPs are fancy folk. Hmm. Anyway, I should have a list somewhere. Wait oh. a second. That's you there. Maybe. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. Yeah, it says I'm a VIP. What's that about, huh? What's them words say? And don't you lie. And go taking advantage of me. That's the VIP list. And I'm on it. They probably put a picture to make it easier on you. Well, that's a short list. Well, I'm that important. Uh, I don't know. Oh, come on. Out of the way, Tector. She's the VIP we've been waiting for. Sasha. Ah, this is our sister. Partner Dang, in crime. Sasha, why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Can't believe that worked. I can't either. They'll probably just put up more, but... All right. And I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down there. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll see what kind of schema Sasha and Fiona have cooked up here.